Well, our guys have been in here all summer, putting in the offense, making sure that it doesn't go anywhere, and we really just picked up where we left off. Is that a nice feeling considering uh, you know, your career here? Yeah, it's a great feeling. I think it's the first time that I could ever do that. And I think, I think that's going to help us. It's going to play, di play dividends um, to start the season off, knowing the West and knowing this, even the East got getting better, that it's going to be important to get off to a good start. And the fact that we're not going to have to feel each other out and learn new things and new schemes is only going to be helpful for us. Russell, have you changed your approach to training camp over the years since you were rookie? Have you changed your approach to training camp much? Uh, yeah, I have. I'm actually letting training camp do what it's meant to do. And, you know, let's work your way into shape, get your rhythm, get your reps, and all of that. As of years past, I would try to almost beat training camp. And uh, sometimes my body would, would peak at the wrong time. And you know, that's just getting, getting older, being, becoming a vet, starting to listen to my body more, pay attention to it. And I did that for the first time last season. And, you know, it was the best year of my career. So I'm going to try to duplicate that. Uh, you're, you're a lot of here, right? Say that again? You're a lot of fun here, don't you? I, love, I can't be, I wouldn't rather be anywhere else. Thanks, good seeing you. Knowing that you guys have uh, a lot to build on from last year, is the focus different in training camp? Are you are you focusing on your weaknesses, like what you need to improve, or really just refining? Refining. We looked at where we were the season prior to last season and then last season and, and the strides that we made on the defensive end. We knew offense wasn't going to necessarily be a problem for us. And we said that going into training camp last year, and it wasn't. Um, we, we can't take our offense for granted, but we have to continue to build on our defense, and we want to be a uh, um, – in order to get where we have to, we have to turn it up on the defensive end. We have to be more consistent on the defensive end. What's it going to take to do that? I mean, what specifically do you guys need to improve defensively to take that next step? Just discipline, little things. Um, not necessarily effort, kind of effort, kind of just doing it. You know, we it's not a, anything an X's and O's thing. It's not something that the coaches can implement. They put in a good scheme for us last season, and we made huge strides. Now it's the little things. It's the things that the the Spurs did well, the things that the Pacers did well. You know, they got back on transition. They made you play against walls. Um, they minimized the, the shots at the rim. And we did a, a good job of that in half court. It's just our, we gave up too much transition. Now that you've had some time to think about that Spurs series, what, what did you take away from that? Was that a learning experience for you guys as a group, do you think? Yeah, we just got to get better. That's all it is, to, head top to bottom. We have to get better. We have to do more. Um, we don't have to get out of ourselves. We just have to do more. Everybody has to get better, and that's what the offseason's for. And after the first session of the first day, I can tell that everybody's gotten better.